Hi, I'm Chef David Myers, and we're gonna be making today a lobster and Thai green curry roll. Now, this is one of my absolute favorite ways to have a lobster roll, and lobster rolls are always good, no matter how you have them. So first of all, we start off with some nice Maine lobster. It's uh, been cooked very, very gently. So we're gonna start by heating our lobster up in a green curry that we made with lime leaves, lemongrass, a little coconut milk, to, and some chili here. So we're gonna cut up the lobster. I like to use larger bite-sized pieces here. So, you know, when you eat a lobster roll, the key is, is that you want the lobster roll to really have some big chunks of lobster. So we wanna cut it up something along that size right there. So I'm gonna add that in a little bit more. Just nice big chunks. Basically you get six pieces out of one lobster tail. You can also do the lobster roll cold and have this as kind of the aioli, which I also like as well. But we're gonna do this one as a warm lobster roll, just like that. We're gonna heat up with some butter in a pan. We're gonna warm up and toast our bun. I like to just get some potato rolls and we can cut them here. Basically take the top, cut the top open a little bit so we can fill it up. Toast this as well, just like that. We'll warm up some butter. We'll toast it a little bit by pushing it down. We're gonna get going with our herbs that we're gonna add to this. So we're gonna do some basil. I like to do two types of basil. I wanna do a Thai basil, which is um, has a little bit more of a spice note to it. We're gonna do just sweet basil right here. We're gonna do some kefir lime leaf, which is really one of the basis of Thai cuisine. It's really fantastic. And we're gonna do some fresh mint as well. Now the key here is to really get a nice cut on all of these herbs, super, super fine on all of them. A little bit of the mint now. And the kefir lime leaf. Now the kefir lime leaf, this is something you have to slice super, super fine. Otherwise, it becomes too difficult to eat. Almost like hair size here, super thin, just like that. We'll mix that all up. The smell is just fantastic. There we go. So we have our herbs all set up. This is what we will use to garnish with. Now for the curry, you could just make a simple curry, uh, you know, green curry at home. There's a lot of different ways to do it. I like using the coconut. I like using some chilies, little galango root, kefir lime leaf, and that's just very gently poach it right in here. All right, our bread, just in the butter here. I like to soak up a lot of the butter. All right, we have some baby cucumbers here. I wanna cut some of these up so we can mix this in with our warm butter poached, with our curry poached lobster here. Beautiful, here we go. We've toasted our bread, it's nice and toasted right up here. We're gonna season this up so we have some Japanese cucumbers right here. We're gonna add our lobster and the curry sauce together. Incredible. There we go, look at that. Just gorgeous. So let's go ahead and plate this now. We have a nice sauce that's going to really season up. There we go. A little bit of the sauce, just over. That gives it some nice flavor. And we're gonna finish with our chopped herbs. So the basil, the mint, the kefir lime leaf. There we go. And our poached lobster done in coconut curry with a little bit of crispy cucumbers. Mm -hmm.